Hey everybody, what is up? This is Gavin Grunow here. <clears throat> I am so, so excited right now. I mean, I'm so excited right now because just recently today, well tonight, I'm gonna post this in the morning, but me and my family had just got done watching Obi-Wan Kenobi on Disney+. Plus. That's right, that's right. Me and my family had just got done watching Obi-Wan Kenobi on Disney Plus and man it was so awesome it was so awesome everybody Obi-Wan Kenobi was such an awesome it's such an awesome show on Disney Plus right now um I've been waiting for this day for a very long time actually for like several months now ever since the beginning of uh 2022 from the end of 2021 but yeah I've been waiting several months Several months, several months, several months. I've been waiting several months for Obi Wan Kenobi, the TV show on Disney Plus, to come out within uh, the, the early year of 2022, and that's what we thought. But ever since uh, they were gonna, ever since they announced it that it was gonna come out in early 2022, well, unfortunately, it wasn't entirely true. No. Apparently, they decided to, uh, well, I don't know if it was scheduled or not, or I don't know if they they er if they made an error, if they made a mistake within the schedule of the TV show, but they decided to move it all the way until the beginning of summer, till the end, till the end of the month of May, which is right now. We are at the end of the month of May. We are going to be beginning summer soon in early June right now. And we have a lot to look forward to on Disney Plus with all the Star Wars, Marvel, uh, Disney, and all the Disney Plus TV shows and movies that will be coming to the streaming service right now and ahead of time within this year of 2022, all right? And so far, 2022 has been going good. It's been going great, all right? It's been going awesome right now. And we have a lot to look forward to. We have a lot of uh, shows to look forward to. And so Obi-Wan Kenobi is one of them, all right? Obi-Wan Kenobi is one of them that I've been looking forward to in in, 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 in 2022 for a very long time, all right? For, for several months now, ever since uh, late uh, 2021, all right? It's ever since the announcement has been made by Disney ever since uh, we've seen the trailers, ever, seen, ever since we've seen the posters that has been going on all over Instagram, YouTube, going all over social media with the posters and the, and the trailers. Everybody was hyped, all right? Everybody was very, very hyped for, for Obi-Wan Kenobi to come on streaming services, all right? And it's only, and I mean, it's only on streaming services, all right? Only on Disney Plus. It's not on DVD. It's not on any other streaming services. It's 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 only on Disney Plus, all right? So, if if you want to see the show real badly, all right? If you want to continue on and see the show, you have to make a subscription to Disney Plus in order to watch it and to get all the other Marvel, Star Wars, National Geographic um, and all the other Disney movies and shows, the movies that are on the platform, all right? So make sure to go get your subscription or else you won't be able to see it and you won't be able to stream it. <coughs> so yeah, so yeah, make sure to go do that. But man, Obi-Wan Kenobi was so awesome. It was such an awesome show, all right? It, it was so good, all right? It was so good. I wish I can spoil it for you right now, all right? I, I wish I could spoil it for you, but as for me personally, as for me, I don't spoil things. I don't spoil anything. I don't like to be spoiled at, all right? I don't like to be spoiled at when it comes to movies and TV shows, but yeah, I don't like to be spoiled at. And if someone does, I'm gonna be very, very angry. I'm gonna be very, I'm going to be very, very mad if anybody spoils anything, any movies or TV shows to me, all right? So please don't, all right? Please don't spoil anything to me, all right? Please don't, all right? Because if you do, and if you're watching this video, your comment will be removed 
your questions will be removed, all right? And I'm not kidding this time, all right? I'm not kidding. Please don't spoil anything or else your comment will be removed, all right? It will be removed, all right? So, but yeah, I'm not going to spoil uh, the show to you, all right? I want you all to see it for yourself on Disney+. Plus. And, um, but man, it was so awesome. It was so good, all right? Now, what I will say, and, and all I'm going to say is this, that Obi-Wan Kenobi is taking place 10 years, all right? Taking place 10 years right after the events of Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, all right? It's taking place during the time of Rogue One, a Star Wars story. It's also taking place during the time of Han Solo, a Star Wars story. And um, I think there's one other movie or TV show, but uh, I can't remember right now. I can't remember right now. But yeah, it's taking place between episode 3 and episode 4 right now, alright? So yeah, it's taking place 10 years right after the tragic, the horror events of Revenge of the Sith. And right before the current, right before the events of A New Hope, episode 4, alright? So, um... So yeah, it's taking place during the rebellion right now, all right? During the rebellion of Star Wars right now, during Rogue One. And so um <coughs> um uh yeah, we know that Obi-Wan is going to go on his adventure and that he's going to try and make things right ever since he lost his best friend that day, ever since uh Anakin Skywalker turned to the dark side of the Force and became Darth Vader ever since Darth Sidious had control of him and had him become to the dark side of the force. And so, um, <clears throat> and so anyways, um, so yes, he lost his friend that day, all right? And, but mo most, important, most importantly, he lost a brother, all right? He lost the brother that he truly loved and that he truly cared for, but unfortunately, as for Anakin Skywalker, no one can get through to him, all right? No one can get, could ever get through to him. Not even Padme, not even Yoda, not even uh, uh, Master Windu, Mace Windu, not even some of the other Jedis or the characters uh, could ever get through him during that time. Anakin Skywalker was very very sad and angry and going and so desperate to save his wife and to save his wife Padme during episode three of Revenge of the Sith and so um yeah so he was mad he was angry he was sad he was very very sad on losing her and he would do whatever it takes to save Padme and he would do whatever it takes to um, to put things right, to put things right of the Force. But unfortunately, uh, Emperor Palpatine, all right, Emperor Palpatine had to t uh, turn him to the wrong, to the wrong side. All right, he had to turn him down, and um, <coughs> and um, <clears throat> he had to had to lead him down to Darth Vader. All right. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. And so, um, so yeah. So this is taking place ten years ever, ever since those tragic events. Ever since those, those, those. Uh, you know, ever since that day. Ever since he lost him. I still remember that day. I still remember that day years ago. Every time I see Anakin Skywalker go down. And every time I see Obi-Wan Kenobi feeling sad for him, it makes me want to cry. It, it gets me every single time. It makes me sad and it makes me sad and want to cry every single time I see Anakin Skywalker go down with Obi-Wan Kenobi at Mustafar, at planet Mustafar. I'll never forget that day. I'll never forget that day. But yeah. <clears throat> Obi-Wan Kenobi, the, the, the show was so awesome, all right? It was so good. It was so good, all right? It, it was so awesome. Like I said, I'm not going to spoil it to you all. I, I, I'm not going to spoil it. 
I just recently sent a text message and posted something on Instagram for everybody to see and for my friends to see, all right? I'll, I'll tell you what I said in my text message and in my post. Okay, okay. All right. <clears throat> okay, I recently told my friends and posted this on Instagram. I just... I just got done uh, watching episode one right now. It is so very, very awesome and and good. I won't spoil it, but I, I love the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV show already. Uh, one of my friends uh, said, awesome, Gavin. I saw it too. We barely because I was out playing bo uh, Pokemon Go, which is which is cool, which is cool, which is cool. And um. And yes, everybody, <laughs> my friends are texting right now. My friends are texting right now. But yeah, no spoilers will be allowed, all right? No such ever spoilers will be ever allowed, all right? And if you do, your comment will be removed, all right? I'll say it again. Your comment will be removed, all right? All right. <clears throat> so yeah, yeah. Anyways, I'm looking at my text messages right now. Uh, <clears throat> But yeah, that's what I told my friends. That's what I told everybody on Instagram right now. And um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just giving out my review. All right, I'm giving out my review right now on the show of Disney+. Plus. I know that there's more uh, Star Wars TV shows to come. All right, I know there's more Star Wars TV shows to come right now. Because just recently, yesterday, the Star Wars celebration just recently started all right the star wars celebration celebration just recently started yesterday and uh, i was pretty excited all right so i was pretty excited all right i i watched a little bit of it all right i watched uh, some of it but i didn't get the chance to watch the whole thing from it because i was busy i had things to do and i couldn't watch it all right i, w I was very busy so yeah i watched a little bit of the Star Wars celebration, and um, uh, it was good. It was pretty good. I really enjoyed some of it. It was really, really cool. I really loved it. To see all those people with their lightsabers, with their costumes, and everybody making their announcement with uh, uh, on, on about Star Wars, and um, Every, all these trailers coming out, all right? All of these Star Wars TV show uh, trailers are coming out right now uh, on Disney Plus and for the Star Wars celebration. And so um, this is going to be good, all right? This is the month for Star Wars, all right? This is the month for Star Wars. May the 4th, may the force be with you, all right? May the 4th, may the force be with, be with us all. Be with us all. And so, um, <clears throat> I know this is going to be a good TV show. I know Obi-Wan Kenobi is going to be awesome. I think this is the good and correct direction that they're going to go, all right? I think this is a good direction that that they're going to go uh, through with Obi-Wan Kenobi because I know, I know within the past several years, Star Wars got screwed up, at least in the past two movies, uh, the Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker, all right? The last two movies of Star Wars got screwed up, all right? They screwed up everything. And Disney and Star Wars are trying to do the right thing, all right? Uh, Disney and Star Wars are trying to make things right for all of us fans, for, uh, for all of us fans, for us out there to make uh, our favorite movies, characters, and stories and everything else uh, the right way and the right way within uh, the Star Wars fandom and within, uh, you know, within everything since they screwed up last time within last couple movies. And so um, I think this is a good direction that they're going with right now with these shows, all right? So why don't we take a break? Well, not take a break, but you know, uh, why don't we take a little break uh, from the movies, all right? Why don't we take a break with the, from the movies and we move on with the TV shows, all right? We move on with the TV shows on Disney Plus and, you know, try and move on from the screw-ups 
from the screw-ups of the movies, all right? We, we know we want Star Wars to be like how it originally was 40 years ago, all right? We want the original Star Wars back. We want the all the originals back the way it was before 40 years ago. And so, um, <clears throat> get away, get away. And so, um, <clears throat> I say they're doing the right thing by putting Obi-Wan Kenobi back uh, from the prequels. I say they're putting Bubba Fett back within uh, the originals and the prequels. And I also say that they're, uh, I know there's another TV show. Uh, oh yeah, they have The Mandalorian, which also takes place during the original times of the original Star Wars movies 40 years ago. And, um, <clears throat> and The Mandalorian, uh, Bubba Fett, uh, why do I keep forgetting? Why do I keep forgetting? Um, but yeah, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. And so, um, so yeah, as long as they go this direction instead of that other direction that, that has been happening for the past several years uh, with The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker, I know that they're going to be good, all right? I know they're going to be awesome once again. They haven't, they haven't been this awesome in over 10, 15 years, all right? They haven't been this good in over 10, 15 years, in literally two and a half decades, all right? Two and a half decades. And so, um, <clears throat> so yeah, so I'm really loving what I'm seeing and hearing right now. I'm really loving what we're experiencing right now within the original characters, the original stories the original timelines of the the Star Wars of the Star Wars uh, timeline and the Star Wars fandom and um, I say they should go all right I they should say they should go with this and take a break from the movies all right uh, take a little break from the movies all right and so um, oh man oh man it was so awesome Obi-Wan Kenobi was so awesome, and it was so good. It was so good. Like I said, it's taking place 10 years right after the events of Revenge of the Sith, and and right before, right before the events of Episode 4, A New Hope, and during the events of Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, and also Han Solo, A, story, a Star Wars Story. But anyways, anyways, um... I really, really love Star Wars. I really, really love Star Wars very, very much. And um, I've come to know know more about it, all right? I've really come to know a lot about it. And, um, <clears throat> and um, if you guys have seen Obi-Wan Kenobi, that's awesome. That's great. That's good. And um, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So... Um, <clears throat> So yeah, so I wish I can talk about it with you right now, but I don't want to spoil it for you all, all right? I don't want us to spoil anything, all right? I don't want us to spoil anything. And, um, <clears throat> um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and so anyways, everybody, if you, if you want Disney+, Plus, just get your subscription and you'll be able be able to good to go. And um, if you ever have any questions, all right. If you ever have any questions for me, or for anyone else, or for anything else, all right. Let me know your questions in the comment section down below. All right. Let me know your questions in the comment section down below, and I'd be happy to answer all your questions. All right. I'd be happy to answer all of your questions. All right. All right. And also, if you ever have any comments, all right, if you ever have any, man, there's so, there's so many flies anywhere. So many flies everywhere. But yeah, if you ever have any comments, all right, if you ever have any comments at all, um, if you ever have any comments at all, let me know your comments in the comment section down below, all right? Let me know your comments in the comment section down below. And I'd be happy to answer any of your comments anytime you uh, anytime you like, and um, yeah, yeah. And so, anyways, um, <clears throat> uh, 
Um, uh, yeah, so we have a lot to look forward to. And there's so much to, to know, to see, to hear. And um, man, I know there's one other Disney Plus TV show that I just forgot that I just forgot already. And I already said it right here. I already said it in my video already. I just can't believe I forgot. Um, uh, but yeah, yeah. So yeah, make sure to go do that, all right? Make sure to go do that, all right? And so uh, I can't wait to watch episode two of Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, for another day, all right? <clears throat> And once I do watch Obi, uh, what, uh, once I do watch episode two of Obi Wan Kenobi, then I will let you all know. I'll let you all know what I think of it, and I'll, and I might possibly do a review on it. And um, yeah, yeah, I like episode one already. All right, I like episode one already. It was, you know, you know, you know. But yeah, time for episode two. All right, time for episode two of Obi Wan Kenobi. From Star Wars. Alright? Alright. And, um... And, um, yeah. I think that's pretty much what I have to say. I think that's all I have to say. Uh, and I pretty much said everything of everything else. Um... Um... Yeah, I said everything from everything else. So, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, I think that's it. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my little review on the Disney Plus show, Obi-Wan Kenobi. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and or subscribe. If you do, I'd really appreciate it. Make sure to go check out some of my other videos that I just recently, uh, that, that I just recently uh, made for you, all right? Make sure to go check out uh, my other videos that we just recently made for you, all right? And if you do, I really, really appreciate it, all right? I really, really appreciate it. All right? All right. Make sure to go check those out. All right? Check them out. All right? But anyways, guys, this is Gavin Grineau here. May the force be with you. All right? May the force be with us all. All right? May the force be with you, with us all. And um, uh, we'll see you later. All right? We'll see you later. All right? All right.